The Duchess of Sussex did not call her father on Christmas Day for the second year in a row, her half-sister Samantha has claimed. The 53-year-old revealed Meghan's estrangement from 74-year-old Thomas has been ongoing way before her marriage to Prince Harry. Writing on Twitter, Samantha wrote, My life is great and after having a heart attack the wedding and now two Christmases she does not even call him. Humanitarian my A. She even retracted her birthday message to Meghan, saying, I retract the Merry Christmas, you don't deserve it. How dare you walk into a church? It is the latest twist in the dramatic fallout between Meghan and her family since Thomas was due to walk her down the aisle in Windsor. Thomas' decision to pull out of the wedding due to health reasons came after he staged photographs with paparazzi with himself getting ready for the wedding. Since marrying Prince Harry, Meghan has not spoken to her father. He even found out about her pregnancy through a radio announcement. Samantha had asked Meghan to reconcile with her father but later wrote that the Duchess had been rude, adding, I've never seen anyone so rude and hurtful and heartless and absent a soul in my life. Hashtag Meghan Markle Hashtag Samantha Markle Shame on you for what you have done to our father. No PR machine can fix this. She added, Forgiven, reunite, and have the Christmas spirit and a peaceful heart? Apparently you're not capable and I don't know enough profane words to articulate how I feel. Wow. There are also said to be problems for Meghan closer to home, following reports of a rift between her and Kate. Her Royal Highness and Prince Charles allegedly made it clear that any rift between the two duchesses must be kept out of the public eye as they arrived together at the St. Mary Magdalene Church. The two appeared to take the advice on board as they were seen laughing and joking while photographers captured the pair walking towards the church. A source told The Sun, the Queen and Charles have allowed the situation to play out without overtly interfering but they both made it clear that Christmas was for the whole family to really come together. That meant the two couples walking into church together as the Fab Four just like they had last year. Yes, it was awkward and uncomfortable given what's gone on over the past 12 months. But the alternative of even more negativity on Christmas Day wasn't worth thinking about. The Queen allegedly told Kate and pregnant Meghan to put their differences aside by the time they sat down to watch her speech along with the rest of the nation at 3 p.m. on BBC. It comes as there have been rumors swirling for months of a rift between Meghan and other royals. Rumors of the feud surfaced when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced they were moving out of Kensington Palace to live in Frogmore House in Windsor. There were also reports of a falling out between Meghan and Kate during Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid dress fitting before the royal wedding earlier this year.